Okay. Thanks, everybody, for coming in. Um, about 7 p.m. last night, Sunday, the 21st of October, police attended a motel on Mount Barker Road, Glen Osmond, to conduct inquiries in relation to a hit-and-run incident where a police officer had been injured in Mitchell Park on Friday night. When police arrived, it was established that the man they suspected of being involved in the hit-and-run was in a room with a firearm. Star Group officers were called and the area was cordoned and the incident was declared high risk. A female was seen inside the room with the man. Negotiations commenced with the man who ignored requests to come out. Shots were heard from the room and a short time later the man was shot by police. The man was treated at the scene but unfortunately died from his injuries. A woman in the room at the time was known to the man and was not physically injured but was being threatened at the time. No police officers were physically injured during the incident and Police for Major Crime will conduct the investigation into the circumstances of the incident and a report will be prepared for the coroner. The matter is also the subject of an internal uh, commissioner's inquiry. The um, action by police uh, to um, uh, try and apprehend men forcibly, was that um, necessitated by threats against the female? Um, that will all be subject to the um, investigation at this stage, but there was a female in the room who... Was, was, sorry. The, was the man known to police for other matters aside from the um, hit-run incident? That will be the subject of the inquiry. Um, a lot of talk about you know what happened to the guests that were inside the motel at the time. Were they all sent outside? Were they locked down? Can you, can you talk us through exactly what the process was? My understanding is... Um, the situation was, declared, it was assessed in terms of the safety of the people. Some people were evacuated and some people were safe for them to remain where they were. So each, each case was assessed on its own merits depending on where the people were. How were police led to that hotel room that understood the man had been standing there or living there? Uh, police had conducted inquiries and some inf information that they had, they had at hand indicated that he was at those, or may have been at those premises. And the police believe he'd been staying there for seven days? That will be the subject of the in, um, inquiry in terms of where he had been in the intervening period or, and prior to the incident at Mitchell Park. So would you confidently describe it as a hostage situation? With the, with the woman? Well, the information I have is there was a woman in the room and she was, had been threatened by him and he was in possession of a firearm and he had discharged that firearm. Can you tell us if it was a pistol or a rifle? I understand it was a shotgun. There was a residential house at the back of the hotel that overlooks that area. It had a smashed window with police using that in any way? Um, that would be the subject of uh, the investigation. The woman, do you understand that uh, they were in a relationship or what was... I understand the woman was known to the man. The nature of the relationship will have to be subject of in the investigation. Was she treated by ambulance? Is that the same? I'm not aware of whether she received medical treatment. Um, I'm, I assume she would have been checked over for any injuries um, as standard procedure, but whether she actually received any further treatment, I don't know. We've heard some audio from police trying to negotiate with this man and you know, they're telling him to come outside and they can resolve it safely. Obviously this is the last thing police want to have at them like this, isn't it? Absolutely. No police officer comes to it. Uh, wanting to use lethal force, but sadly that is part, um, part of what we train for. It's a reality of a police officer's uh, role in society. Um, but police officers are well trained and obviously our star group are highly trained for these kinds of incidents, but regrettably it's not where we actually want the day to end. There was a blue car in the car park that had some attention from police. Is that linked at all? I have no information on any vehicles um, to that, that depth. That's what the investigation will look at. Was the firearm at any stage pointed at a woman or a police? That will be subject to the in inquiry and part of the report to the coroner. So it's too early. Um, this incident is less than 24 hours old. Um, we've still got police at the scene and we will be subject, as I say, to an investigation by a major crime, a report to the coroner and an internal investigation known as the Commissioner's Inquiry. Can you tell us what state the woman was in outside of today? How is she? I have no information as to her condition today. How many shots were fired by police? Um, I know there was um, shots fired, but that will have to be part of the examination of the scene. It would be too early to, to go into that amount of detail. Was the man shot inside the room? Um, my, my understanding, he was shot at the scene. Now, what that means in terms of whether it was in or outside the room, I um, will be subject to the investigation. Um, last night, um, police said that they had been perhaps searching the surrounding area and then sort of zeroed in on the, the motel. Is that the case, or did they go directly to the motel? Um, my understanding is there had been we had been looking for this man since the incident at Mitchell Park. Um, inquiries had been made um, at a number of locations, um, and this was one of those locations. And uh, were there reports of threats? Were they verbal threats by and large? 
Uh, that'll be subject of the investigation, that level of detail. All good, everyone? Thanks very much.